Let's bring in meteorologist Christy Gordon now with a look at our weather forecast. Christy, what do we have? Well, no snow, thankfully, Sophie. We contended with it a little bit, but that's for the lower mainland region, I should say. Those of you in Quinell and Prince George are probably looking at me. What is she talking about? There's snow. Yes, it continues. The winter storm warning as well as a snowfall warning. So we've already seen 20 to 30 centimeters of snow in these areas. We're going to continue to see this overnight tonight. The front, though, is shifting towards the north. So here's a look. As we head into tomorrow, the bulk of it will be on sort of north coast inland sections touching down into these areas here. So snow will continue across northern regions even throughout the day tomorrow although it will begin to ease across the central interior regions as we head through the morning hours tomorrow. Meanwhile, for the south coast area, we are going to see a system drive into the coast on Friday. It's not going to be a complete washout, but we'll definitely see periods of rain at times become heavy. And that opens the floodgate for a series of storms. Yes, starting Friday through the weekend and into next week, we've got a very wet weather pattern on the way. So tomorrow will be ahead of that system. So enjoy tomorrow while it is mainly dry. Some breaks blue sky across southern BC as this front shifts further north. For the south coast, we do have some rain for the north and west parts of Vancouver Island, but for the most part, our region mainly cloudy breaks in through the Fraser Valley region with highs reaching 8 and 9 degrees. Not bad at all. As I mentioned, we'll see some rain fall by sort of Thursday night into Friday. Not a total washout Friday. There'll be some breaks, but beyond that, Sophie, we're definitely in for a very wet weather pattern. It is still winter after all. It sure is. All right. Thanks, Christy. Oh, go on now except in that photo behind Christy at least on the <laughs> lower mainland I guess Christy Yes, yeah, so we're headed towards warmer conditions, but it does mean some rain for our area. But there's parts of the central interior caribou region that have been pounded with snow for the last basically 48 hours. And there's still more snow on the way tonight and for some northern regions tomorrow. So this is a shot from Prince George. Kevin sharing this one with us. And then I've got another one showing the uh, Quinell area. I had someone tweeting me, actually, which I'll show you in a bit, uh, a photo from the Quinell area. And he, she said that took her... Uh, uh, um, husband about three hours just to clear their small driveway. So I'll show you that a little bit later, but these are the areas under a warning. So generally we're going to see conditions ease across these southern regions, but we're going to continue to see an impact across the northern regions. We've seen anywhere from 20 to 35 centimeters of snow, and there's still more on the way as we continue overnight. So here's a look at that moisture. As I mentioned, it's going to shift north. So inland regions of the north coast, as well as areas north of Prince George, will continue to see snow fall uh, through the day tomorrow, but overall it's going to slip north of the Caribou region. So a little bit of a break finally, for example, for those of you in the Quinell region. For our area, we're expecting a dry day tomorrow, but by Friday that moisture is going to push in. In fact, we'll see a little bit of rain Thursday night into Friday, and then the floodgates open. We've got a parade of storms headed our way. It's going to be one thing after another starting sort of Thursday night. Now, Friday's not going to be a total soaker. Uh, they will see some breaks in the action, but certainly keep your rain jacket hand. So heavy snow still from Quinell north, but easing for areas like Quinell. Some breaks of blue sky through the southern interior. And we'll see some rainfall tomorrow across the west and north parts of Vancouver Island. Mainly cloudy for our region, but dry. Best chance for sunshine will be in the Fraser Valley tomorrow. And then, as I mentioned, by tomorrow night, that's when the floodgates open. And we are in for a very wet pattern. Temperatures, though, are going to be above seasonal. So it is going to be mild, that's for sure. All right, tonight's central windows, weather window that I was alluding to. So this is uh, Michelle husband and he, she, he, she said that he spent three hours or more just trying to clear their small driveway. So he was working hard. So good job. I don't know his name, but uh, well done, Michelle's husband. It's a big driveway. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Christy. Lots of snow.